Alright, so today we're going to be modeling the, the Penguin from Batman the Animated Series, uh, uh, Warner Brothers copyrighted image. Uh, I found this on the internet, so uh, this is what I'm going to be using. Uh, the, the reference itself isn't the greatest. I have a great side view, but I don't have a solid front view, so I have to sort of make up the front view for as far as uh, modeling goes. So I do advise you to find better reference art. Uh, but I'm using the penguin because he is sort of an icon, and he's a very simple character. And that's what we're looking for here, is we're just trying to do something simple so that we get the form down, and then we can go through the process of unwrapping and into texturing. So I'm going to just start out by duplicating the background layer here. And what I want to do is just break it apart. So I'm going to just marquee select the center here, control X and then control V to paste and I'll call this side and then go back to my background here use my rectangle marquee and control X and control V and call this front uh, as far as the back goes you got or hopefully everyone can see that he just has the hair excuse me the hair uh, there isn't really much else to the details so I don't really need that I just need the front and the side. So I'm going to turn on the front and side and what I want to do is try to line these up. So I'm going to go to my side, go to my blending modes right here and change this to multiply. Uh, when I look at the reference you'll notice that the side view is a little larger. And since it is a little larger I'm going to do a control T hold down shift and I'm going to scale it down just a little bit so that it lines up with the proportions of everything else. And that looks about right where his top hat is pretty lined up, his nose is pretty lined up, and the bottom of his feet are pretty lined up. Uh, those are the landmarks I'm using because like his, as far as his hands go, they're a little off. I mean, the far, the left hand is pretty close, but the right hand is a little off. So I'm just going to work with that. Uh, once I have that said, I'll change my blending mode back to normal. Since I know this is right. And then I'm going to use my crop tool. And my crop tool is just to get rid of all the extra pieces like so then I'll go to image canvas size and I want to use rounded numbers whenever possible so 1032 by 14 17 really doesn't work for me uh, the reason I say it doesn't work for me is that I'm gonna have to figure out what those values are when I bring them over to 3ds max so I'm gonna set this to 1100 by 1400 and I am going down as far as reducing it by 7 pixels on the height, but that should be sufficient. I'll just hit OK, get a warning that says proceed, and now I have the penguin fitting in here. So now I'm just going to turn off the front view like so. Uh, that looks pretty good. And just do my file, save as, and I'm going to set this into a scene assets folder. JPEG, and I'm going to call this penguin side. And I'll save this off as a JPEG at 10 for equality. And then I'm going to go to my front, file, save as, again, scene assets, images, JPEG, and I'll call this penguin front. Alright, so now we are done with Photoshop, or we should be able to be done with Photoshop, and we can go in and take this into 3ds Max.